start off with about the current funding and the initial funding of the Tanzanian mortgage refinance company. So the, the, the funding mix for us um, was uh, initial funding or seed, seed capital was uh, from uh, an IDA loan from the World Bank, which came through the Tanzanian government. Uh, and we used that to on lend to the mortgage lenders uh, for them to use it for uh, on lending to their, uh, their customers. Uh, but then the, uh, the idea was over time, we would develop as an institution and start to issue corporate bonds uh, to support our funding mix. Um, and, and that we have done over the last couple of years, we've done four tranches. We had a five-year um, bond program where we're issuing in tranches. And we've done uh, four tranches successfully. They were all oversubscribed. Um, and through those, we are blending those funds because uh, for the locally raised funds, they are slightly expensive because of the interest rate regimes there. Um, th therefore, what we do is we blend with the funding we're getting from the government, uh, from the World Bank through the government, uh, and, and use those to own land so that uh, there's a bit of a balance in terms of our cost of fund. So your initial funding is at a subsidized rate and you're having to transition to a market rate in, in local currency um, and also presumably develop a local currency investor base for your product at the same time. Tell me about how that that's investor base and capital market is developing. The, the investor base is um, is growing. Uh, obviously we, we started actually our program when uh, honestly, our capital markets was very dull. There wasn't actually an issuance for like more than seven years when we did our first tranche. Uh, however, uh, since we've started to issue, actually uh, other financial institutions and other uh, issuers have come into the market. So I think we've encouraged others to, to come uh, to the market. Um, and the transition is uh, a bit challenging because as you say, the funding from the World Bank uh, through the government is um, concessionary funding uh, and, and therefore to move from that, even for the lenders, they were used to the, you know, the concessionary funding, it's difficult to stomach even the blended rate. So that is something that, uh, you know, we're working with the, uh, the mortgage lenders and try to make them understand and uh, work through to make sure that uh, we, we are able to blend the resources that we're raising locally. And at the moment, you're saying they're corporate bonds. Um, is there a plan to issue secured bonds in some form, either directly or to facilitate covered bonds by the banks directly in the future? So that uh, is, I think, a journey that we are starting. Um, where we are now, uh, we need to grow the, the primary mortgage uh, market significantly. Uh, because before, be, before doing that, it's difficult to do all these other things. And the path that we see uh, is we'll continue to do the refinancing with recourse uh, for some time while we grow the primary mortgage uh, market. And then we'll probably move to securitization at some point uh, as, a sec as a next step. Uh, and I think eventually, I, I hope we, you know, within my lifetime, um, we'll, we'll uh, be able to, to move into covered bonds at, at some point in the, in the, the future. And is that covered bonds in parallel with securitizations and also in parallel with private sector covered bonds for the individual banks or just covered bonds for yourself? I think it would probably start for an institution like ours, uh, but you know, eventually it probably will end up um, becoming one of the instruments that other, others, other financial institutions use. Uh, similarly to what we've done in the capital markets to stimulate the capital markets for uh, the normal corporate bond issuances, I, I feel the same. People will probably see us do things that eventually uh, they will also try to, uh, to emulate and do the same.